Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about um, scaling objects like STL files that you might get from Thingiverse, or maybe it's your own STL files that you created through uh, FreeCAD, or you know, actually, you probably don't want to do that because it's easier to scale things if you create them in FreeCAD, but if you get an object and it's too, for instance, in my case, there's an object that I found on Thingiverse that's too big, and uh, I was not able to scale it in FreeCAD because, well, let's take a look here. Here's uh, FreeCAD, and it's a nice free CAD program if you want to draw like gears or machine parts or whatever. Um, <clears throat> but it's not so good at editing uh, objects that are already created in STL. Let's try opening a. Uh, okay, so here is a uh, file that I downloaded from Thingiverse in an STL format. And it's a Christmas tree, and if I hold down the shift and uh, click on the right button, mouse button, I can uh, rotate this tree and look at it. And here we have our measuring tool up here, so I can click on that. I can find a point and click there, click there and see how tall it is. And it's, it's over 302 millimeters from these two points. Actually, that's a tangent, but it's still approximately the height, and that is way too tall. I, don't, I wanted something much smaller than that, like maybe about, because that, that's about 30 centimeters, <coughs> which is about a foot, right? 30 centimeters is about a foot. And so <coughs> maybe something about half that height would be good. So let's uh, get out of this program. And uh, there's another program that had some promise. I was looking on the web because... Uh, you know, if you're using free programs, sometimes you got to look around and use other ones. There's something called Blender, and Blender is more of an artsy type program, but I believe it's designed to do this type of, for instance, scaling. Oh, I'm sorry, I wanted to show you one more thing in FreeCAD. So let's try to scale this in FreeCAD. So before we do Blender, and uh, so. The internet says we can use uh, draft, right? So we go to drafting, and then we will go to uh, the draft menu, and there's something called scale on here. Okay. And if we, uh, <coughs> okay, we'll just choose a point to scale from, and. Uh, I don't even know where our part went. I think it disappeared. Okay, so let's start over. And we will rotate our part by holding down the shift key. If you hold down the control key, it will trans... Is that right? Control key will translate it. Shift key will rotate. And, um... So we'll select our part, and we will go to Draft again. Make sure it's on the Draft menu. Scale. Okay. Continue. And it's, it's gone again. But anyway, I was using a different version of FreeCAD, and it would not allow me to put decimal places in there, so I could only scale it to, like, integer sizes bigger through the scale thing. I'm not even able to do it here on the Linux one. I'm just not sure why. But when I was doing the scaling on Windows uh, version of FreeCAD, I could only make it twice the size or three times the size. I couldn't do integers. I couldn't do half. And um, I'm not even sure what's going on here. So let's let's try loading this object up in Blender. Okay. So we'll do an import here. File import. Um, it's a STL file, and it's I saved it under Downloads. Uh, let's see where is it? Christmas tree. And it is this bottom one, IDG 3D. And let's zoom out. I'm using the mouse wheel here to zoom out. Okay. And uh, there is a, a scale uh, button right here, so you can click there. And then as you start to scale it, you can see the scale down at the bottom part of the screen. It's about a third, 
four tenths, five tenths. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so now our Christmas tree is a lot smaller. And let's try exporting it. We'll export as a STL file. And let me just put it in the same directory so it doesn't get lost. <coughs> and we will call this uh, Xmas tree 2. And we'll click on the export STL file. Oh, oh I'm sorry, we want to put the the file name in here. <coughs> Xmas tree to ex export. Oh, okay. So <coughs> let's go check to see if it exported okay. And here we go. Files. Christmas tree two. Okay, so there's a Christmas tree two uh file under there. Let's see if we can load that up in FreeCAD. Fourth time is a charm, right? So let's go under our file here. We'll try opening that. And here is a Christmas tree. Remember, hold down our shift key and the button here. And we'll take our measuring tool and we'll try to measure this one. And now it's a only... Okay, so we took our ruler thing here and measured these two points and now the uh, now the, the Christmas tree is only about 15 centimeters tall so the uh, scaling and blender seems to be effective it seems to have worked and um, I guess uh, <coughs> looks like uh, we're able to scale our objects down and create STL files so we can uh, take something off the thingiverse and make it any size we want and then print it out, make it smaller, make it bigger, whatever. Anyway, this is uh, Dr. Janes and thanks for watching.